Hello and welcome back to what is. In this video we are discussing Mesopotamia and Sumerian civilization. Sumer is the earliest known civilization in the historical region of southern Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia is what is now the Middle East. Includes parts of Southwest Asia and areas around the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. The Mesopotamian civilization is estimated to have lasted from 5500 BC until the fall of Babylon in 539 BC. Despite traces of humans in Mesopotamia until 10,000 BC. Humans first settled in Mesopotamia around 14,000 BC. People live in this area in small settlements with round houses. After 5,000 years they domesticated animals and formed agricultural societies and they developed agriculture. Mesopotamia was located in the Middle East bordering present-day Iraq, Iran, Syria, Lebanon, and Kuwait. The vast area was never completely part of civilization because civilization was based on agriculture. It is from southern Iraq, in the late Ubaid period, 4500 to 4000 BC. All these vastness were once part of civilization. Using irrigation techniques that took advantage of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, these agricultural societies began in the north and slowly moved south, where they spread and built cities. Uruk was the first city in 3200 BC. The mud brick metropolis of Uruk thrived on trade and featured public art, colossal columns, and temples. cylinder seal of the Uruk period. At its peak it had about 50,000 citizens. The trade routes between Mesopotamia and the Indus would have been significantly shorter, due to lower sea levels in the 3rd millennium BC. The Great Ziggurat of Ur. Built during the 3rd dynasty of Ur 2100 BC, dedicated to the moon god Nana. The Blau monuments combine proto-cuneiform characters and illustrations of early Sumerians, 3100 to 2700 BC. At that time pottery was very abundant, and the forms of pots, pans, and dishes varied. There were special jars for honey, butter, oil, and wine. Some vessels had pointed legs and stood on stands with the legs crossed. Others were flat-bottomed and set on square or rectangular wooden frames. As in early Egypt, oil vessels, and perhaps others were sealed with clay. The most important archaeological finds in Sumer are numerous clay tablets written in cuneiform script. Sumerian writing is considered a great milestone in the development of mankind's ability to not only create historical records, but also to create literary pieces in the form of poetic epics, stories, prayers, and laws. An important example of cuneiform writing is a long poem found in the ruins of Uruk. The epic, Legend of Gilgamesh was written in standard Sumerian cuneiform around 2500 BC makes it the oldest epic. George Smith transliterated and read the Babylonian flood story of Tablet 11. The cuneiform inscription on this clay tablet narrates part of the epic of Gilgamesh, written 2150 to 1400 BCE, the obverse of this tablet relates the second dream of Gilgamesh, on the journey to the forest of cedar. Gilgamesh Gilgamesh was a king of Uruk, who was part human and part god according to the epic. Believed to have been born around 2700 BC. In the story the creator created humans from clay, but God created a flood to destroy mankind but he helped men build an ark and mankind was saved. The story may sound familiar. It is a fact that Mesopotamian religion and mythology played a major role in the creation of religions of later origins such as Judaism, Christianity, Hinduism, Islam, and Greek religions. In Kiju, Gilgamesh's friend. Tablet 5 of the Epic of Gilgamesh. This is a newly discovered partially broken Tablet 5 of the Epic of Gilgamesh. The tablet dates back to the Old Babylonian period, 2003 to 1595 BC. 
they used feathered headdresses. Cots, stools, and chairs were used, with carved legs similar to those of a bull. There were fireplaces and fire altars. Knives, drills, wedges, and a saw-like tool were all known. Spears, bows, arrows and daggers were used in battle. Gold dagger from Sumerian tomb. Sculpture of the head of Sumerian ruler Gudia, 2150 BC. Golden helmet of Mescalum Dug, possible founder of the first dynasty of Ur, 26th century BC. Phalanx battle formations, led by Sumerian king Ian Adam, on a fragment of the steel of the vultures. Silver model of a bow tomb, 2600 to 2500 BC. Enthroned Sumerian king of Ur, possibly Ur Pabal Sag, with attendants. 2600 BC. Daggers with metal blades and wooden handles were worn, beaten into copper plates, and necklaces or collars were made of gold. Time was measured in lunar months. They also created a mathematical system based on the hexadecimal number system. Hexadecimal means based on 60. This is the source of our 60 minute hour, 24 hour day and 360 degree angle. Their calendar is based on a 7 day week. They studied planetary motions and succeeded in predicting eclipses. They created a 12 month calendar based on the cycles of the moon. Although they excelled in science, their civilization ended around 1475 BC. Wars from outsiders and assimilation from other cultures led to its end. Thank you for watching. If you like our channel, please subscribe, and wait for future videos.